investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, everyone. Dr. Chapman. This is uh, the Tiger, Tiger Technicians Hour, and we're looking at the, uh, really, this is going to be a fascinating session because of the candle of yesterday. We've already given back a chunk of that gain, but uh, what I really am looking at and what I said to subscribers to my opening call is that we should see some kind of rotation where the former really battered down NDX 100 top 20 or 30 start to um, have a good rally here, a bounce that is. I think they're still going to do some testing. And at the same time, the Dow type stocks, it might even be the S&P type stocks, have some kind of continuation of the consolidation. We'll see what happens. We already had one particular stock that I said to buy this morning. Um, it depends when you bought it. If you bought it a little later than when I sent out the newsletter, you're in it and you're doing really well. If you bought it just soon after, I said to buy it underneath a certain price. Um, what can I say? You got stopped out for a really tiny little loss, one and a half percent or so. Um, but most importantly, what we're really looking at here is a situation where I think that we're going to, and I'm going to go through these in a moment. Um, it's going to be quite an exciting session here because I want to look at uh, what could be working in the near term, not the longer term, not the shorter term, just the near term right now and what we're looking at in the greater picture. And let me just show you the down down 199 at 35,871 instead of being up 100 points, which would have been absolutely fantastic after yesterday's turnaround. This just says that the um, sell mode in the Dow, which was what triggered yesterday, sell signal to sell mode in one session, we got that, is in place. Uh, I should also mention that we are actually now short via uh, one position. And what we're all looking at here is within the context of the weekly chart. Now I can talk about it. That Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone has worked wonders. I don't know yet whether this is an E or a C in the leg on the upside, but it doesn't matter. What we're all looking at is the MACD is deflecting lower in the weekly chart. Stochastics at 77%, but that nine-period moving average is still well above the 14-period moving average. I have to respect that and say, well, that indicates that there is still internal strength and that monthly chart sitting right at that oh, look at that how many times can you hit a trend line going back to the starting point uh let's just say let's make it definitive from the high of the 29,568 high of February of 2020 before that 39 percent decline into 18,213 on March the 23rd the day we actually went along uh, via options and then a week about a week or so later we got the diamonds which we still have a position in the diamonds what is uh, we actually now we have a core position long and a very short term uh, trade in the short side <laughs> we'll see what happens here but what we're looking at is this trend line has been hit one two three four five six seven eight out of nine times in the monthly chart eight out of nine months and we got repelled again at the 36,952 level on the 5th of January. It's not a big deal. I mean, 36,952 to yesterday's level, 35,000, uh, what was it, 35,600? Yep, 639. Big deal. Uh, it's nothing. So we're going to be watching this closely. Now, I, I, I know I've been reading and hearing about uh, one year, two year, three year um, phase of down moves. I just. It's so beyond my comprehension that I could, that, that's just not in my vernacular whatsoever. I don't think we're getting a major top like that until we see the IAI, which is the, this is the iShares Broker Dealer and Security ETF, which we are still long from the day after the low of March 23rd last year. Um, 
is trading at 112 until this starts to scream in the 160, 190 area. I just don't think, well, let's just be conservative. Let's say 150s, and it's at 112 right now. So it has to make another 50% gain. I just don't see a major, major top. I think that's what people are talking about. Can there be a digestive phase that goes on longer than you want if you're a bull? Or just perfectly if you are short, but not not deep enough if you are short. I think so. But what we are going to be looking at is how do and I'll go to that in a moment. How do these stocks like the NDX 100, like the IBD 100 stocks? How do they treat this particular market in this particular phase? Let's go on. We've got IWM. IWM is down. 31 cents to 215.01 at the bottom of its channel. Very often you go from up, breakout, back into the channel, then down, and then back into the channel. So this is just stuck for the moment. PD in the uh, week, monthly chart. Let's just go on. I want to show you this is very interesting. Look, crude oil, really important here. It's made a PD in the daily chart. This is a continuous contract. It has pulled back just a tad, but it's near the upper part of the uh, this recent range. I would sus I, I suspect that if crude oil holds here, it's telling us that the economy is not as bad as people are making out. You wouldn't get that with crude oil up. I think crude oil would be down the 69, 67 area instead of in the 79s, if we were really in a kind of a recessionary phase right now, I suspect this is a rotational correction, a really important one. And that's the reason why you've got this dichotomy between some stocks that have no clue that there's a bear market going on, and some stocks, especially in the index 100, that are in such bear markets that they can't believe that there are stocks making new all-time highs. Look at the TLT up. 49 cents at 143.10. That means yields are just trying to turn around a little bit here. Unless the TLT can rally to the 147, the 200-period moving average, I think that yields are going to be in the upper range. But they haven't really broken out yet. So that is broken to the upside. We're looking at gold. Uh, gold is in play, but only as a trade, intraday kind of trading. It's up 7 at 18.05. When will it be the big kicker to the upside, breaking into the 2010 area? I think that has to wait. I do believe that that's in the cards for some time in 2020, but I don't think it's just yet. And if you're looking at silver, silver, so gold is up 7 at 18.06. Silver is up 14 cents at 22.16, struggling at the 9 and 14 period moving average, resistance there. Um, it's not a great pattern. There are days when it looks better than the gold, days when it looks worse. It's one of those days where the weekly chart actually looks worse. And what am I missing here? I did, I think, everything I wanted. Okay, let me show you this. Um, BLDR, BLDR. This is the top uh, 50 of the, I'm not going to go through all 50, of the, of the IBD 50 charts. Look at this. Peak F and Builders First Source Inc., it's housing in the housing area, obviously. 86.40 was the all-time high in the third. Yeah, it's pulled it back a little bit at 78.30. But look at that weekly chart. I'm suggesting to you that you've got to be a little careful here because it's just starting to pull back. A-O-S-L. O-S-L. As it comes up. 64 round number, all-time high. Trading now at 51. 13 points down. It's right on support. This is really good. I'll be back in a moment. And we'll continue with these. Down 215 as it was down 13. I'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Well, folks, we're back, and let's just do this real quickly. You've got uh, peak E in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology and the E mini chart right there at the high of uh, 4688.25, and uh, it traded all the way down to the 4629 level, and now it's at 4648. I suggest to you that there'll be a much better close on the Dow today if the S&P can uh, cross above 46.62, the 200-period moving average is 46.61. So that's a long way to go. But if it does that, that will be really, that will bring in buyers. But most importantly, in fact, what I'm going to do now is let me just quickly do a couple more of these and then and then we'll move to something else. And I want to show you this. Look, so AOSL, which is Alpha and Omega Semiconductor, uh, Oh, first of all, let me just, I've got this MP here, MP Materials Group. It's up uh, 54 cents at 46.26. It's on the list. I just grabbed it because uh, I, I, I thought it was, uh, I'd seen discussion about it over the last couple of days. Uh, but it is in a PD. It's in a sell mode. Uh, daily and weekly chart, peak F. Uh, let's see what happens here. And a monthly chart, leg E. This is MP Materials Group. 48, so 46.26 up 53 cents. Let's just go back to the story AOSL. This is in the semiconductors. Uh, this is trading down one at 50.93. That has, looks to me like a sell mode in place. SGH, SGH is, uh, what is SGH? Smart Global Holdings. I forgot to put down what they are, actually do. This is a very unusual. I have no other way to count it, but a PC which looks like it's going to fail at an all-time high. It's really unusual to get a C at an all-time high, but yep, that's what it is. And a peak F in the, a leg F in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly trading at 64.89 down to $1.45. Had a very nice rebound for three days. And today it's weak. That's funny. When the market was weak, it was rallying. And now it's a little bit weak today. Um, I, I, I think I, I'm going to go to QB next. QB is... QB, C-U-B-I is customers, bank call. So this is in the bank area. So you can see the XLF, which is in the, these are the core 
The XLF is really the money center banks, SB Select Financial Spider Fund. It has most of those, plus others, Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, down today, uh, down 14 cents to 40.89, having made a recovery high, actually an all time high. Yesterday, 41.46. No, 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 no. All time high, no, no, no. All time high. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All time high. I just wanted to make sure. Didn't want to say it without being correct. But yesterday, so that is in the area of the interest rates. Interest rates rising helps quite a bit. Um, but what I wanted to say is for subscribers, I said uh, we've got wildly oversold uh, conditions in some of the NASDAQ type stocks. So, for instance, uh, Crowd, which is Crowd Strike, trading at 196.36. Up 369. I wanted this. I said, let's buy it under a certain price. Now, it depends when you got in. If you got in late, you're lucky because you're still in. And now, we're instead of the 192.60 area, and there were just a couple of trades that just took us out of that very tight 3.60 stop. I mean, that's really nothing, 1.5% or so. But I just didn't want to take a chance. But I think that this is what we're looking at. So we've got crowd strike acting. Some of you, I know I have got a couple of people said, ah, oh, we waited a little longer and we were fortunate and so far the stop has held and it's trading beautifully at 196.62. And look at that weekly chart. That is just a nice green candle, but it's only this, oh, not even the second day of the uh, of this week. So we can't talk about it as if it's a Friday close. But I am thinking that stocks like this, <coughs> uh, let me see, I had a bunch of them. A DocuSign, I mean, look, 298. Down to 174, 120 points is like a 30, almost a 30 percent decline. This is just a fabulous reaction. DocuSign, D-O-C-U, um, trading right now uh, up 6.36 at 142.50, made a low. And I love this arch, this arch formation here. I hate the fact that it couldn't fill the gap, but just as a counter trend bounce even towards the 154 level. Uh, look at this from the low of 126, up 30 points. If it can do that, that's fabulous action. And then it can go back down again. But in the meantime, or you don't know with these stocks. Is this the rotation that says, wait a minute, we are done with these major. Yeah, T-Doc, let's have a look at T-Doc. Question in the den about T-Doc. That's the same thing. Look, T-Doc is up $4 at 86.36, up 5%. Doesn't mean to say they're out of the woods, but what it does say is that stocks that were, in this case, up at 305, what was it, 300 and, 308 round number high. Oh, I had that in, then I lost some of the data and I forgot to re type it. 308 round number all time high goes down, has a little bit of a pullback from 308 in one. In about a year, it goes from 308 all-time high to a little bit of a dip at 76.14 yesterday. It's trading up 10 points from that right now. And that's what I'm saying. This is why I'm saying that you've got to consider, I agree, in the den, DocU is broken. But there are a whole bunch of factors that say that DocuSign could have a pretty decent rally and then come back down again. Well, a rally is does your account say, oh, that's terrible. You just made you know, 15 or 20 percent on a, on a horrible stock. You should never have bought or a great stock that is just dead now. No, you made money and that's what counts. That's the way you have to think about a market. The market is there to make money. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Um, let's look at some of the semis. Advanced micro devices, nice bounce off the low, up three at 135, up 2.36%. You see, I think that the semis, oh, this is so interesting. Look, the semis up 82, 82 cents at 298. Hit the uh, this major trend line support right here, the pink line, and now it's bouncing. But I think this magnet of the trend line support is going to be there to say, I'm coming back to the 289, 288 level. No matter what I do, even though I'm 10 points higher right now, it's got a, a Chapman Ray Peak G or a Peak C1, C2 in the weekly chart. I think that the overall atmosphere 
in the semiconductor is one of uncertainty. It doesn't mean to say it's got a crash, but it does say that it could struggle for, look at this, MU, Micron Technologies, Micron Technologies in the semiconductor area, one of the leaders, 98.45 high, just uh, six sessions, five sessions ago. Trading at 93, what's the big deal? Not a big deal at all. Week to chart, I'm calling this at least for now. No, I can't. I have to call this a, a peak B. It could fail, but it's it, it's acting very, very well. That's what I'm saying. So when we were looking at AOSL, that's the chart pattern that says I'm in the semiconductor area that's had a much deeper correction, alpha, omega, and omega uh, semis. Uh, so it really depends where you are. Oh, gosh, I was looking at something. Oh, Teradyne. Teradyne uh, in, in the same area. Look at this pullback. Peak D and a peak E in the weekly and a peak G slash C in the monthly. And yet, when you look at the weekly chart, it says, hey, I'm holding very well. Uh, but that's a, that's a bit of a pullback from the 168 area down to the low of 150s. Uh, and now it's trying to rally. So this is so selective that you just got to be really, really careful. CTAS, this is in a different area altogether. Look at that pullback. This is in the overalls, uniforms, rentals, sent us down four. A 395 from the 461.44 time high. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman. Dow is down 181. S&P is down 12. Um, what we're looking at here is, so a couple of things are going on. 
uh, during the break, uh, we always have these little discussions between uh, either Dan or the Tiger YouTube uh, just going on. Uh, just I, I show the charts that have been discussed. One was uh, one was Syntas, which is overalls and uniforms. It went down to the 200 period moving average, 461.44 with a uh, 458 round number open on the 13th of December. Double top, peak C1, C2. And then what happens? Kaboom. It comes down to the 390 area. You know, I, I'd say 70 points is a, a pretty pretty deep correction, 20-something 20, 20 percent. And now what we're looking at is that is telling me, because the weekly chart, I have no choice. I actually have to now put a sell signal. Uh, I have to wait for the end of the week, but I suspect that I'm going to go from a sell signal to a sell mode in this very important in market, indi market economy indicator, for me at least. Um, that's number one. Number two is within the context of what we're looking at of this oversold bounce, um, some things have worked, some haven't. Now, what we've got and what was mentioned in the den is that Costco, the people got, the statement was, people got, got too giddy about Costco. Yeah, Costco had this uh, rising cup formation with two uh, uh, kind of a, a sequential top pattern. And then it made this little doji candle high of 570, uh, 569.88 on the 30th of December. And now look at it. It's down at the 512 area. I would call that a pretty serious decline. And yep, it's gone to, there's no other way I can count this. It is a peak C in the uh, weekly chart. I don't want to take too much time. I'm just going to draw this in now. Maybe a little later in the week I'll, I'll discuss it. But it does suggest that if this bear phase of the shorter term, we don't know yet intermediate term, but just call it shorter term, pattern is going to continue, then something like a Costco could have had a Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. And they would say, and I'm only I'm only throwing this out now as something that I've seen a couple of times now. In fact, even this morning there was a particular chart that I was looking at and I drew the same pattern in. And it says that if this is an a peak C, which is going to become a, an alternate count, um, A, B, C, D, with the Chapman Wave instant restart right here um, at that leg E at, on the week of the 1st of October at 470.949 in Costco. And the reason why I'm taking a little time on this, this is really important because this is Costco. I mean, Costco made its high on the 29th of January of December. So it's within the range of all these different indices making highs and then pulling back very sharply. That says that if if Costco closes under five under four ninety seven in the next two weeks, they have to give it two weeks. There's a good chance that over a period of a month and a half, you could see this retest of four forties. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm saying I've seen this particular pattern so many times that I can't exclude it. And that makes this a Chapman Wave instant restart with the next trough lower than the D. And that makes it very important because I get an alternate count. E slash A, F slash B, G slash C, and this C becomes a D. And now you've got E in the weekly, D in the week, sorry, E in the, in the daily with a doji candle high. D in the weekly and a peak D potential in the monthly. And that says, hey, now you've got to keep, you've just got to be aware that something like a Costco, and let's go to this right now, RTH, that's the retail, this is the Van Eck retail ETF has 20% Amazon. Yep, it didn't break the left side, whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. The left side low of December the 20th, yeah, December the 20th of 184.74. Yesterday's low was 184.74. Unbelievable. That's just like a perfect dreaded H with no conclusion because it held the left side low. Huh. And that says, watch this closely because you've already got a sell mode in the weekly chart, the daily, absolutely. Weekly, yes. And the monthly, no, nothing, not even a sell signal. And look at this XRT. XRT, this is S&P, did make a lower low. That went to a leg C to the downside 
Oh, oh, what a market we're in. Such a fantastic time for technicians because there's so much that we can look at and so much that we can deal with um, on a historic basis. In other words, what what is the character of this chart regardless of what sector it's in and regardless of what other stocks are doing? And this particular instance, you've got a left side low that was taken out and then the price closed above it this is amazon doesn't is equal weighted the s p retail etf is equal weighted so amazon doesn't have as large a position it doesn't distort it and this says there is tremendous weakness in the retail sector but of course going into the season of buying, the December season between Hanukkah and Christmas and whatever else you have, um, that buying should dissipate into January and February. You'd expect that. So we're just looking at monthly charts, and the monthly charts so far are saying, hey, um, just a consolidation, the, the weekly charts is sell mode in place, uh, going down to leg C in the daily and the weekly. So we're going to watch this really closely, and that's the reason why I'm saying let's be as selective as possible. That's the reason why we've raised quite a, a lot of cash, and that's the reason why we're looking at very select areas of new new positions that we've taken, and anything new, I have to have tight stop. That's all there is to it, and we'll see what happens there. Now, a couple of things I want to look at here that uh, – Question. So there's a segment in the den about, first of all, question. What, are the, what is the price to replace a battery in a car? Well, it depends on the car. It could be several thousand. It could be 5,000. could be 7,000. Uh, there's a thing, uh, someone said, the um, Porsche Panera, Panamera. Is it called the Panamera? Yeah. Um, Porsche Panamera is, where, where did I see that? Um a battery cost, yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's $12,000. Well, if you're paying 198000 to 210000 and I must say, I never like, I had a friend who had a Panamera. Uh, I was in it. It was, it was nice. It, was, it wasn't so great. But, and I didn't think it looked, it really looked like a, like a bullfrog of sorts. Now, when you're on the road and you see this guy, you say, hey, that, that's, that's a rather large sports coupe. And it turns out it's the pa pa Panamera. Uh, I think that's what you call a Panamera. Uh, yeah, Panamera. Uh, it's a hybrid. Oh, the hybrid uh, Taycan. 12,500. Um, uh, I don't know whether that is for the Porsche hybrid or whether, or the, uh, the Taycan battery or the, or the Porsche Panamera, but anyway, that's 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 a lot of money, but not if you're paying as much that much for. It's only ten percent of the cost of the car, so you can say, well, and, and usually they're lost. I don't know when you replace them. I mean, some some Prius from way back, fifteen, seventeen years old, are still uh, running very nicely on the original batteries. So the whole thing about batteries not lasting, that was a bit of a myth. So anyway, I want you to say Panamera looks, I love the, the design. I'll be back. Um. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. 
David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, yeah, just let me do this. So CVS, uh, a couple of questions came in, and I'll deal with them right now. Uh, CVS, all-time high right now at 107.26, going at 105.60, at 54 cents. Leg D. I, I, today's Tuesday. I don't know if I want to do it right now, but I, the question is, was this a peak C1 and a C2 here? Yeah, you know, I... I don't really want to deal with it. A, B, C, D, E it comes to the same thing. I tend to like to see the D completed under certain conditions, but everything about it says that almost certainly when I was doing it uh, about a, um, three weeks ago, I said, you know, this is really a possibility of a peak C1, C2, even though it wasn't within pennies of the previous high. Uh, and let me explain that. That just makes for a Chapman wave sell signal, meaning that the next buy is is um, a buy off a sell signal or a sell mode to the downside, and therefore I need to put in an up arrow. So the, normally I would do this at that turnaround with the stochastic went under 80%, uh, sorry, under 20%, and uh, almost 10%, and the MACD, and everything turned around and went up, and the pink turned to green in the nine period moving average over the 14, and therefore this should have been peak A, B, C, D, and this is leg E. So it's either D or E. If I continued waiting from C to go to a D, it went to a D and an E. All right. So with that said, I think that CVS is very close to some form of consolidation. And that consolidation says at 105, if it closes in the next two weeks under 99, then the weekly chart will suggest that it's going to take a little bit longer to digest all the gains. But it's in an area of pharmaceuticals. It's in an area of... It's kind of in an area of demand, so I don't want to get too carried away here than to say fantastic action in CVS. CVX, on the other hand, um, is something very different. This has to do with the oil that is still rallying, and CVX has gone to an all-time high as we speak, uh, trading at 125.96 of 85 cents. And if I'm very strict about this, I have to call this just a leg B in the daily chart. Unbelievable. It's gone from 111 or so to 125. That's 14 points, about 11, 12% plus the dividend in this particular move. And look at this leg D uh, weekly chart. Look at that. Look at that candle from last week. So this is fantastic action. And let's just do Exxon at the same time. Exxon also doing well. Uh, a leg B, no, it's probably, and let me just see. I think it was a higher high. 
69, 18, 69, 69, 18, I think it's 16, 17. There you are. So that goes A, a little bit ahead in the Chapman wave notation, C, but it's only a leg C in the weekly chart, and a leg C in the daily chart, and a leg E in the monthly chart. They're all doing fantastically well. Um, so all I can say is that crude oil, it seems to me, is holding pretty nicely. And if you put this together with the HGX, which is the um, Philadelphia Housing Sector Index that made a 531.14 uh, all-time high and is now pulling back sharply from 531 down to the four. 80, 494 level, it hit 480s yesterday. Yeah, this is digesting big gains in the housing market. So you can see when I talk about a rotational uh, a ro rotational market, you can see Basel, you see the X running out of gas up here at the highest. Not if they buy that $10,000 battery. Okay, let's just have a look. Uh, let's see. CV, did you say CVX? Yes. Now, CVX, now this is going to be very important. If CVX has broken out in the monthly chart, look at this, hasn't gone to an all time high. That, that high was at 132, was it? 133.88 back in January of 2018. Dropped a little bit down to the 50s, 52 or so. And now it's at 125. This is outstanding action. MACD's goods, the Kassik's flat at 92%. This is just saying that CVX, Chevron Corporation, multinational oil company, um, is just doing fabulously. Weekly chart. Let me just see here. It's a good question. Let me get my Chapman Wave automated um, support resistance areas. Uh, let's go CVX. CVX is trading right now at 125.90. There's nothing in the daily chart for resistance, nothing in the weekly chart. And 125.70 to 128.43 in the monthly with 143 out, outlier uh, sitting there. But short term, 126.15 is resistance, and we've had a high today of 125.99. So, oh, that's the 120-minute chart, 10-minute chart. It's at 125.82. It's already broken above that little by little bit. Yeah, we, we're getting to some kind of resistance, but I, there's no other way I can call this. This is leg B in the weekly chart, in the daily chart. So I think it goes higher. And then I think it has a digestive phase, but let's not even talk about that until we get there. I hope I answered your question. A couple of things came in here. Uh, very team mobile. Let me just see. Uh, yeah, right Right now there are more stocks that are corrected 50% or more than any time in history of the stock market. That's not healthy either time. Uh, for uh, for common sense time. So let, let me just talk to that issue. And this is something that I've, I've mentioned enough times to say, okay, I'm not sure if I'm correct, but this is my thinking. My thinking is that if you can get these whopper of a correction in different sectors and even within a group, what happens is you've usurped upside energy but you've also usurped the downside energy because what happens is in the rotational aspect, you, because you've got your X, is that the XLP? I hope I've just, yep, because you've got your XLP, which just made a peak E at an all time high uh, five sessions ago, it was in the 78s. That was doing going up at the same time as you got your. XLK, am I writing and typing the wrong place here? The XLK, which is the S&P Select Tech Spider Fund, going from an all-time high of 177, was it, or 176? 177.04 on the 28th of December, down to yesterday's low of 161.29. That's that's a pretty big pullback. And that's what I'm saying, that I don't see a, a major crash in the sense that everything comes down 95% or more. Um, and no, 
95% of the market goes down simultaneously. Not when you get this corrective rotational process. That is really important if we don't get, in fact, if yesterday we closed near the low of the day, and today we were looking at, uh, today we were looking at Dow down 258, S&P down 28, I would say, uh-oh, there's a single leg down that you've got to be really careful of. And let me just show you this for a moment here. Oh, I just got one section to go. Yeah, uh, I have to go through. This is rotation. some of the pressure. I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And uh, just let me just a couple of quick things that I want to get to. I'll try uh, CBP and a nice dividend. Let me just go to that. Uh, BP is uh, British Petroleum. Oh, look at that peak A, peak leg B. Yep, it's the same thing, except this one had a huge decline. It is even close to uh, most recent highs. So this one has room to grow and to go uh, at 30.14. Where would, where would you add to it? I'd probably say just a little under 29, but it has time. It has to be within the next three sessions. I don't want it next week to go under 29 because that could be a deeper correction. So that's that next thing I had was PTRA batteries. Uh, very quick peak, uh, doji candle low, around about the 19th or so, and it goes from the $8 and... Uh, 26 area to today's high of 9.65, peak A, peak B, peak C, 
peak D. I do not like this in a rectangle formation. They have such a tiny move to the upside. Look at this. Sometimes we get in one move, we get a, a move that goes, in this case, 1050 to 13. And yeah, you've gone uh, to the nine. It, just, it needs time. Keep it in mind. It's a, yes, uh, bus EV uh, EV solutions for commercial application. I absolutely like it. I've had it on my radar for a long time. I just don't think it's ready yet. Next thing was CLF. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for telling me to take profits. Yeah. And CLF is hit 24.67 the other day. Now it's at 21.69. It's in a rectangle formation. Keep it in mind. This is uh, Cleveland Cliffs, flat roll steel. You know, It'll have a fantastic rally at some point in 2020. I just think it's building up steam to do that. And next thing was, uh, let's see, but how often is a crash known before it happens? Well, people speak about this all the time. Eventually, you do get your crash. But um, there are too many people to crash right now. Anyway, all sorts of things. I, I'm just saying that I do see a crash at some point. I don't see it now. That's it. Uh, so just keep that in mind if you want. And when you put your money, money market fund, it's just fine. There's nothing wrong with that. We'd rather not lose money uh, and sacrifice money than to, to have the wrong thing. I'll be back tomorrow.